I want to create a chain rule for one independent variable and three intermediate variables. So I have a function w equal to f of x, y, z, and then the functions x, y, and z are functions on t. Now I want everything to be nicely differentiable. So x, y, and z are differentiable at t. This function, I want to be differentiable at x, y, and z. Let's draw a dependency diagram. My lone independent variable will start at the bottom. I then use these three functions to find an x, a y, and a z. I use those variables to find a w or an f, whatever I wanted to refer to that as. So in the row of variables below this, I see three things. So I definitely have partials, not derivatives. So this would be the partial of w with respect to x. This little line segment would get labeled the partial of w with respect to y. And then finally over here, the partial of w with respect to z. I tried to give myself enough room in here to write this between these two, but failed. So I just dropped it right on there. And then finally, this row of variables, when I look down, I see that lone independent variable. These are derivatives, dx, dt, dy, dt, and dz, dt. All right, well, I multiply, 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 and I add, add. So here is my chain rule, dw, dt is equal to the partial w with respect to x times dx dt plus the partial of w with respect to y times dy dt plus the partial of w with respect to z got a little ahead of myself there times dz dt there's my chain rule so now what I want to do is do an example where I get to use this chain rule So I have a function on three variables, w is z minus sine of x, y, and then x is t, y is the natural log of t, z is e to the t minus one. And I could think about these as parametric equations generating some curve in space that I then plug into here to get a w, but I'm asked to find dw dt, and this time I'm asked to evaluate it at t equals one. So I'm going to use the chain rule that we just wrote down. dw dt is equal to the partial of w with respect to x times dx dt plus the partial of w with respect to y times dy dt plus the partial of w with respect to z times dz dt. And this is a good time to notice that if I cover up these things, I really just have the chain rule for functions from calc one, except for these are partials and they should be derivatives. Cover up the last term and I have the chain rule for one independent variable and two intermediate variables. And then it's like, I, I can now imagine how this generalizes by just keep adding terms to it. Okay, so I need partials of W with respect to X, Y, and Z. So let's do that first. So I treat that like a constant and it goes away. The derivative of minus sine is, well, minus cosine of x, y. I need to take the derivative of now x, y with respect to x. So I should have a times y. I'm gonna write that out front. Minus y cosine of x, y. All right, so partial of w now with respect to y. Very similarly, minus x cosine of x, y. And then finally, a partial with respect to z, and this is the hard one, I'm lying. So the partial of w with respect to z, this is a constant goes away, the derivative of z with respect to z is, I hope, one. Now I need to take derivatives of x, y, and z with respect to t. And done. Nice, easy derivatives to take. I need to take products to find my chain rule formula, and then I need to replace x, y, and z with, well, x, y, and z. So, dw, dt is 
This times this, well that's a one, so it's just this. So minus y, which would be minus the natural log of t, times cosine of x times y, so t times the natural log of t, plus the product of these two things. So I have minus x cosine of x, y. Well, I know the cosine of x, y part becomes the cosine of t natural log of t times minus x, so minus t out front, times this, so over t, well, those will cancel and just give me that part in the middle. And then finally, not too much to do here, just an e to the t minus one. So writing that all out just a little bit more neatly, I have minus the natural log of t times cosine of t times the natural log of t, minus cosine of t times the natural log of t, plus e to the t, minus one. I'm asked to evaluate this when t is equal to one. All right, well the natural log of one is zero, so I don't have to worry about any of this. So I have minus cosine of one times the natural log of one minus cosine of zero, well minus cosine of zero is minus one, plus e to the one minus one, e to the zero is one, and I get zero. At the moment t equals one, dw dt is zero.